Hello everyone. So today in this video, we can discuss another problem from lead code. The problem name is flipping an image. The problem is telling you that you are given an n cross n binary image like binary matrix image. Binary means that it only consists of zeros and ones. Now you have to flip the image horizontally and then invert it, the resulting image. So you have to first flip the image horizontally, in which means that horizontal means that you have to flip every row. So if the initial row is 110, then after flipping it horizontally, it will become 011. And then you have to invert it. By inversion, it means that if the ith number or the uh, like ij number is 0, then you have to convert it to 1 and vice versa. So the main crux to solve this problem is that to flip the image, like to horizontally flip this image, you have to flip every row. Now you can just flip every row in an O of 1 occasion. But what you can easily do here is you can use the reverse STL function in C++, which can easily just reverse the image. So you have to just give the row. So because the matrix actually, I just take out a pen first. The matrix consists of different N rows and M columns. Then you are given the ith row. They are, they are in the form of vector. So what you can do here is just take ith vector and just like horizontally flip that particular row. And then you have to do this for every row and after converting and like flipping every row, you will go through every particular element, IJ element, and then just invert that element. And that's the logic for this problem. So what you can see here is I just, uh, just, uh, just give you a small demonstration. If this is the matrix, the matrix consists of different rows, which are actually also vectors. So if you talk about the ith row, just take the ith row and reverse it using the reverse function. Just reverse that and then what you have is actually the reversed vector. Now you have the reverse vector for every row then iterate over from left to right uh, on every cell on that particular matrix because you have to reverse every row then what you will do? You will invert everything. So because everything is only 0 and 1. Okay, either you can write a if condition for every element. If it is a zero, if the ith element, ij element is zero, then convert it to one. Or else if it is one, convert it to zero. You can also write that. But instead, what's the better way here is, if you want to flip everything, what you can do here is, just do a zor with one. So one zor zero is equal to, as you can see, if my x is equal to 0, I'll do it as or with 1, it will become 1. And if I take 1 and draw it with 1, it will become 0. What I mean by this is, if my ith number is 0, I draw it with 1, then it will become 1. And if the ith number is 1, I draw it with 1 itself, it will become 0. So I have to just take the ij number and draw it with 1. And it will actually flip its side. So for flipping any bit, try to use zor uh, in bit manipulation. It's very simple. So that's what we're going to do here is uh, we'll first iterate over every row. So there are n rows. So we'll iterate, iterate over every row and what we'll do, we'll reverse it. So because every row is a vector, what we'll do for the ith row from the begin to the end, reverse it. Then after reversing out every row, we'll iterate over every cell in that particular matrix and we'll flip it. How to flip it? We'll use Zor. So this, uh, this symbol is for Zor. So we'll take the ij element and draw it with 1. So in the end, that's the answer. I hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down. I will see you next one. Till then, keep coding and bye.